Welcome to Celebrating Act Two and another wonderful discussion coming up. I don't know on what topic today with John Mariani, the virtual gourmet, but it's always a, a delicious conversation. <laughs> John, your um, your virtual gourmet newsletter, by the way, available free to anybody at johnmariani.com. Um, I love it because it's a great combination of travel and food. And you cover the whole earth. Mm. And recently you did a story on Messina, Italy. And mm. I had heard of Messina, of course, but I didn't realize um, what a wonderful combination of culture and travel and food it was. It's not a big place, is it? It's not, is it a big tourist destination? Uh, no, it's, it's not a big city. It's a very large town. Um, it's right on the Adriatic. And it's um, also uh, uh, on the beginning of the Amalfi Coast. Uh, so you start from a sea. As a matter of fact, you could take a uh, cruise, uh, a cruise ships, 45 minute ride uh, to Capri. So it's a jumping off point either from Naples or Messina to get to Capri, which is how it gets engorged with people. But it is certainly not as well known as Naples or <clears throat> Rome or Florence or Venice or any of the other big major tourist cities. And that makes it much more walkable, livable. Um, uh, they, have a very, they have a main street that has some very good shopping on it. And then a lot of other streets that have a lot of tchotchkes and so forth, but for very good prices. Um, wonderful restaurants, a great deal of seafood, um, a great cathedral um, with a superb uh, 1933, it was, it was made, uh, it's a very special clock that is uh, supposedly the largest clock <laughs> cathedral in the world. <clears throat> wonderful quiet piazzas where you go and you sit down, you have an espresso with some ice cream in it, uh, and gelato or a little shot of uh, uh, cherry brandy or something. And um, it's a city that I've grown to love because it's after the maelstrom of Capri or the, the craziness of Naples that it really is a much more relaxing place. Um, and the food is, is really, really excellent. Um, one of my favorite places there is uh, called Caruso, Ristorante Caruso, <clears throat> because it's named after Enrico Caruso, who was, I'm not sure he was from the C Messina, but he certainly was uh, uh, from Sicily. And um, it, uh, whoever built Caruso decades ago, I mean, really like Caruso because it's about three or four dining rooms, every square inch of which the walls are hung with photos and memoranda <laughs> and the menus that Caruso ate and uh, all of the, the librettos. I mean, it's a wonderful museum. Uh, his records play all the time in the background. And it's just a wonderful, convivial, colorful place. <clears throat> but the food is just exquisite. I remember the first time I went there, my wife and I arrived and we'd been eating seafood, seafood, seafood for days in southern Italy. So I said, you know, I really can go for some veal or lamb or something. We walked in and there were these glistening uh, langostino, langostines sitting in a box just brought over from the fish market. And I said, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm going to have the langostines. <laughs> and then we had, we had pasta with fungi porcini mushrooms, which were just then coming into the season. I mean, it's very, very seasonal. It's a wonderful place, great wine list. Um, it can get can get crowded on weekends and festivals, but because it's so large, in the last time we ate there, I think we were only maybe one of four or five tables of the whole place. Um, so it's 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 wonderful for that. Uh, there are other places I just want to check my own. Um, article here on Messina that uh, uh, the trattoria is all over the place. Um, all of them are, or not all of them, but many of the best are down by the seashore, where you almost dabble your your, your uh, feet in the in the uh, in the water down there, um, and then you have to walk up to the town, and then <clears throat> then you start up a hillside and you see the lemons growing, these huge Sicilian lemons, um, which is where limoncello comes from the uh, the drink which is available all over the place you got to watch out when you buy limoncello you got to really make sure that it's just not a lot of sugar water so some lemon squeezed in there um get it from a producer which has a specific label said made on 
Capri or or Messina or something like that. Um, they have their museums. Um, as I said, it's on a hill. It's on a, a hillside, so you have a great view of the Mediterranean. I mean, it's just a lovely, much less frenetic place. Uh, the southern Italy can be uh, grimy, gritty. Its landscapes can be beautiful. Um, Naples is a maze. It can, it can take you an hour to go four blocks in Naples. <clears throat> Messina is a, is a wide open city with um, uh, everything to recommend it. And as I said, my, my wife bought some lovely clothes there, um, which you wouldn't find because they're individual shops, not attached to many, many other shops uh, um, in other parts. Uh, so I, it's a place I highly recommend. And uh, it's a two day city. It's uh, you're not going to spend a week there or even three or four days there, but uh, you're not going to tire it while they're there. And I guarantee you, if you go, you'll want to come back. Well, it's what I appreciated about the article is that it made me want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, really sounded like a lot of fun. Yeah. Appreciate it. Like all your articles in yeah. the virtual gourmet. Well, if I'm not enthusiastic, I try to convey that. Uh, I don't write about places that I don't much care you for you to know about yeah. people ask them well should i really go here and i said not my cup of tea but then that's that that's true of a lot of places i'm not a surfer so i don't recommend malibu too often uh, unless there's a good restaurant there yeah or a bushy bushy blonde hairdo and a fresh yeah. bikini for more on celebrating act two visit our webpage. follow us on facebook subscribe to us on youtube and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.